Are you interested in becoming a company truck driver, but you're worried about forced dispatch? It's a topic that most drivers don't like to talk about because some love it and some really hate it. In this video, Taylor will go over your rights for forced dispatch and how to make it work for you. I'm a fleet manager on the vans company side of things. Um, and we're here today to talk to you about force dispatch. Something I do daily in my fleet manager role is work with drivers such as yourself to ensure that you have as positive an experience as possible. And when most drivers hear the topic of force dispatch, they tend to think that as a controversial topic and some people actually quit their jobs because of it. And even the name itself sounds forced. By the end of this video, you should know how force dispatch works, what it is, and when you can or cannot reject a load. So force dispatch is presenting only one load option instead of multiple load options. You should work with your fleet manager to determine if it works with your hours of service, home time, or any safety needs. And your fleet manager will never give you a load that's gonna put you in a position that you won't succeed in. Why do companies do force dispatch? Well, it's not to irritate drivers. It's to ensure that drivers are making enough money to cover the costs of fuel, maintenance, and truck repairs, because company drivers don't pay for those. Okay, so here's some typical questions about rejecting or accepting a load. So can I reject a load? Well, it depends on a couple things. Some viable reasons are you're sick, you don't feel well, an hours of service violation, needing to get home for a family emergency, planned home time, or an unsafe area. No, you cannot reject a load if you don't want to haul it, and if that's the only reason. If it goes to a certain area you don't like, that's not a good reason either. If you don't want to deal with the equipment on the load, that also is not a good reason. Will I get home on time? You'll need to work with your fleet manager to ensure that both you and them have the same expectation for home time and that that home time is in, in the system plenty of time so that their team can work together to get you home on time. For example, if you have a home time request in 10 days prior and your fleet manager has a load that will keep you in the area, that would be an example of good communication between you and your fleet manager, ensuring that all needs are met. If they're consistently giving you loads that don't get you home on time or meet your expectations, that would be a good point to stop and revisit expectations and reset those standards with you and your fleet manager. Does force dispatch pay enough? As a company driver that's being forced dispatch, you are not getting the worst of the worst loads. Planners do their jobs to ensure that all drivers are making a steady paycheck and are distributing loads as fairly as possible. If you feel you're getting low paying trips, that would be a good point to reach out to your fleet manager and discuss your concerns. What about my hours of service? You and your fleet manager will work together to make sure that you're working within your hours of service and neither one of you obviously wants to violate those hours of service. If you feel a load conflicts with your hours of service, that would be a good time to reach out to them and come up with a game plan to avoid any violations. What if I have shop time? Most likely your fleet manager knows when you do or do not have shop time and you've been working with them previously to discuss issues or concerns. So you as a pair will work together to ensure that you get there on time or work together to switch that appointment time. What if I'm sick or have a family emergency? If you're sick, do not drive and contact your fleet manager. Driving while sick will endanger yourself as well as the general public. If a family emergency arises, work with your fleet manager to get you home as soon as possible, whether that be a rental, a flight, or a load. Is a company driver position right for me? As a company driver, you'll receive many benefits that other drivers, such as lease or owner operators, might not receive. And that includes not paying for fuel, tractor truck repair, and scheduled maintenance. If you would rather have freedom to choose your own loads, the company lifestyle might not be for you. If forced dispatch is a concern for you, ask questions like, what are the company driver benefits? What is your home time policy? How often do drivers reject a load? How many load options will I get as an independent contractor? And where is your customer base? Your expectations with the carrier should always align. If you do not feel like you're respected, this may not be the carrier for you. Get a feel if the carrier respects its drivers by reading reviews and getting first-hand experiences from drivers within that carrier. Does forced dispatch not sound like something for you? 
Maybe being an independent contractor is a better option. If that's the case, click on the link in the description below where we break down the differences between being a company driver and an independent contractor. Thanks for tuning in for another edition of Over the Road on the Truck Driving Channel. If you found this video to be helpful, go ahead and smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out on the road.